Whoa. Are you for real? This is perfect. <laughs> for what? For this fashion show we're having, for the to find bone marrow donors. Excuse me? Oh, you're talking about for Star Manning. Yeah. Bottom line, we're not looking for real models, we're looking for regular people, like you. Uh. Like both of you. And this biker thing that you're doing here, this works, this is perfect. Let me get a publicity show. Ooh, we didn't even say that we would do this. No, but you want to. Maggie, please. you have to. Come on. <sighs> yeah, I'll do it, why not? But you have to go out of town, he's going to Canada. Well, Canada will still be there after the fashion show, and I would be delighted to help you in any way that I can. You too. You're going to steal the show. Well, I don't really see myself as the uh, modeling type. No. It's going to be perfect. The two of you roaring on top of the stage on this monumentous chopper. Yeah, speaking of roaring, if you don't straighten out that Canadian deal. What will my father do? Uh -huh. Well, with any luck, I can uh, put him off a little longer. Maggie, do you think we can get Max on the runway? <laughs> you know what? I'm going to let you ask him. He'll be back from Europe tomorrow. Okay, okay. Well, I got to tell you, this is going to be absolutely fabulous. Listen, would the two of you follow me onto the terrace so I can get a little shot of you? The two of you staring sensuously into each other's eyes in the sun. If you guys don't want to get your bike, it would look great. Mm -hmm. Shotting you two on the throbbing machine. It's too early for throbbing. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. Then just lean against each other. I am going after a Springsteen born to run kind of thing. Great. Yes. I'll work to. Okay. Well, it's nice to know some things haven't changed. You two are still joined at the hip. Hi. 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 I wasn't expecting you back until tomorrow. No, pretty inconvenient, huh? Cat comes home while the mice are still playing. That's what this looks like. No, I know I can explain this. I'm sure you can. First. Oh. Mm, I miss you so much. Mm -hmm. Do I believe that? I think they convince me some more. Gladly. I'm gonna get these developed. Thank you, everybody. And Max, I'll get you tomorrow. She'll get me tomorrow. It's a long story. Mm. Well, I uh, better be off, Max. Oh no, oh, come home. Ian, 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 no, don't go running off anywhere. I've got a surprise for you. Yes, assuming he's all uh, checked in. Surprise for me. Oh yeah, imported at great expense. Hmm. Hello, Ian. Father. <laughs> man has told you, Max, I am fully prepared to deny it. In fact, I don't think he is my father at all. Ne never seen this man in my entire life, so you can completely disregard anything that he may have told you. Um, what precisely has he told you? You can relax. Your father and I just talked about our mutual interest in radio and he gave me a little crash course in, uh, Media empire building on the plane. Ooh, on the airplane? That's mm -hmm. a bad place for a crash course in anything. Well, well, in fact, no, it's actually the finest place. The immediacy, the relevance. You do see my meaning, I hope. And I learned so much more on that plane than I learned in that conference. <laughs> but I am glad to be home. Mm. So, is this uh, what you've decided to do with your declining youth? Yeah, what is uh, with this biker get-up, anyway? No doubt it's my son's influence. Seems as though we arrived just in time. Well, actually, mm. Mr. Armitage, I've had this jacket for 15 or 16 years, long before I ever met Ian. But it did come in handy when we took a ride on his new Harley. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a lot to catch up on. Mm. Any time on your schedule today? As a matter of fact, I have some free time right now. Then why don't we blow this popsicle stand? Mm. Uh, if you Armitages will excuse us. Oh, by all means. Oh, and Guy. Do not leave town without saying goodbye. I wouldn't dream of it, Max. See you soon. Mm. Yeah. Very nice to meet you, Mr. Armitage. Thanks. I come home to find the woman I love playing biker chick to his Marlon Brando. You two are awfully chummy, aren't you? Okay, the land view and leather thing is a long story. Oh, I bet. 
Look, it's just that I needed to, to, to blow off some steam before I had a major meltdown. It's been very intense around here. Why? What's going on? Well, first of all, Ian knows everything. Everything is a very broad subject. I mean, can we narrow it down a little bit? Which everything we're we talking Saint about? The St. Martin thing. Plus, the bishop finally admitted that he had Eleanor's locket. You're kidding. No. Ian was going crazy, so I convinced my father to give it back. Only there was nothing in it. Maggie, uh, I think you need to be very careful about what you tell Ian. All I did was tell him the truth about his mother's dad. Don't tell him anything you don't have to. What is the problem? I got it from Guy Armitage himself. The guy's bad news, and he can't be trusted an inch. The father called him a womanizing slacker and came this close to calling him a pathological liar. Mm -hmm. and no father has ever judged his child too critically or, or unfairly. Gee, I wonder if the bishop would be gratified or horrified to hear that. Guy Armitage is not the bishop. Well, what's the difference between the two? Oh, gee. Everything? Is, is this why you really went to Switzerland to get the skinny on, on Ian from his loving dad? Well... Max? No, not completely, but yes, I saw an opportunity to kill two birds with one stone. You know, you were putting way too much stock on what this guy has to say. I mean, there's a history there, and plus you can't get the whole picture from one person's perspective. Oh, oh, I suppose you have a different one. Which, what, what is your impression of Ian? <sighs> He's manipulative, uh -huh. and he's tricky, mm -hmm. but underneath all of that charm, there's a truly lost soul. Oh, for crying out loud! Serious, Max, especially since his mother died. Oh, you don't think he was breaking and entering before all this? You told me yourself that he broke into your place. He broke into Andrew's office. He's exactly what his father said he is, a snake and a liar. That is a total misrepresentation. What? what, what why are you defending this guy to me, huh? I lost my mother. You lost yours, too. Do you go around committing felonies? I don't. He's not a felon. He... What is going on with you? Not a... F Breaking and entering, Maggie. Breaking and entering. I don't know why you got this thing where you got to go around playing his mother now. Oh. Listen. I spent a lot of nights away from you, and... What I'm listening to here, it, it's not, it's not what I thought about all those nights. Well, I guess that's a relief. Maybe we should just not talk. Yeah, maybe we should. serious boyfriend like back in junior high school and how long it seemed to take between the time he first walked you home and kissed you and maybe leaned against you for a little while and then you had to make it all through that night and all through homeroom and math and Spanish and earth science and make it all the way to lunch Try to find some empty stairway so you two could maybe kiss a little more and maybe lean against each other for a little while. Like it was yesterday. That's how bad I missed you. Wow. Mm. Mm, I hear bells. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No. Mm -hmm. no. Mm -hmm. no. I have to. I have to. Could be Guy. I don't know when he's due to leave. Um. <sighs> Hello. Heldon. I have a proposition for you. Proposition? I have a proposition for you. Hmm. Uh, yeah, sure. I'd love to hear it. 
How would you like to go to Winnipeg for me on a business deal? You mean like soon? I'll make it worth your while. Oh, you know, I just got back and I, I, oh, I got some things I need to take care of. But tell you what, uh, I'll uh, think about it and I'll, I'll call you right back. You do that. Oh, man. You know, Garrett is so impressed with me, he wants me to go to uh, Canada, handle some business for him. Oh, no. No, no. No, that, that's Ian's deal, Max. Let him do it. Wait a minute. Do you remember that part a while back when we were discussing how you're not Ian's mother? Yeah, so? So why are you protecting him? Breaking up. I said I did it. I'm up here in frozen Winnipeg and I got the Canadian Cable Group to sign off on the deal. They're going to let Guy Armitage buy him out. That's wonderful. Of course, I'm, sh I'm sure that's why Mr. Media Mogul sent you up there in the first place, because he knew how great you'd be. Of course, it's not so good for Ian. I mean, he messes up in his father's eyes and you run in the city of the day. Yeah, thanks for your support. Listen, if Ian's a bad businessman, it's not my problem and it's not yours, is it? No, no, it's just that I know what it's like to screw up and disappoint your dad. I mean, I, I did so many stupid and self-destructive things. I hope Ian handles it a little better is all. Listen, I gotta run. Uh, they just announced my final boarding. Okay, I'll see you later tonight, but remember I'm gonna be at the fashion show. With Ian? He's gonna MC the thing, and I agreed to model. Yeah, well listen, I'll, uh, I'll meet you there, and afterwards we'll go out. Just you and me? That sounds great. I'm proud of you. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, I'll see you. Bye. Hey. Appropriately MC-like? Very dashing. Come on in. Are you sure? We, uh, we don't want to be late, do we? Uh, no. Just, just, uh, I mean, um... Look, you should know, Max called. He closed the Canadian deal. Did he? Hmm. Just as my father wanted him. Yeah. Well, he is going to be very, very sorry. Some kind of threat? Well, I, I didn't intend it to be. Well, what did you intend it to be? You said that Max was going to be very sorry. People usually are when they get entangled with my father. Why? Because he is the master manipulator. Especially when he sees it in their eyes. That hunger to make a killing. And uh, Max has already fallen for it. Doing my father's bidding, signing up the Canadian Cable Company. If he thinks he's going to get a reward, that is not the way that Guy Armitage works. He likes to always dangle that carrot just a little farther away, which makes his flunkies work harder and harder. Ah, Max wants to do that sort of thing. But, uh, if he thinks he's going to get the keys to the kingdom. You know, I appreciate your concern, but I, I think that if Max can handle somebody like Ace of Buchanan, he can certainly handle your father. It's you I'm concerned about. What's that before? This uh, Canadian thing was like a test, you know? Max got an A, you failed. Doesn't that make you angry? No, no, not at all. You want to say that with a little more conviction, please? Look, my father has this habit of treating me like a schoolboy, even though I'm a grown man. So if you're, you're angry with your father, you're not angry with Max, right? No, why would I be angry at Max? Because of me. Look, Ian, um... If that's the case, then you and I, we can't be friends anymore. What are you driving at? Look, I really hate rumor mongers, okay? But you have to know that it's all around that you are a notorious womanizer. The Scarlet W that I should have monogrammed on all of my shirts. Mm. And so you think that I have a problem with Max because of his relationship with you? I just want to make sure you understand. That you're spoken for, and that you love Max. No, I don't have a problem with that. I'm not that much of a cad, you know. All right. Well, good. I'm glad we got that cleared up. So we can be friends again? Yeah, I'd like that very much. <laughs>